Hi there, we're going to talk very quickly about restructuring data which is in the form of repeated measures in SPSS. Um, this is really necessary if you're analysing repeated measures data. So, as a reference you can look at Andy Field's excellent book, Chapter 19, gives a step-by-step -step account and it's actually a health-related example, so that's very good. Another book that's just come out is by Heck, Thomas and Tabuta, which again has details of how you can restructure data to carry out repeated measures analysis. And I'm going to use an example from an excellent book by Twist called Applied Multi-Level Analysis. It's on page 91. Um, he doesn't talk about SPSSS, but he talks about another program to analyse repeated measures data, which we'll be getting to later on. So, this example on page 91 is to do with lifestyle and health. So here's the data in the format. It has it. So if we look, we have an ID variable, a health variable, a lifestyle variable, and a time variable. So you can think of ID as being the patient ID. So if you notice, it's unusual in the sense that we've got four ones, and then four twos, and then probably four threes carrying on. So that means that patient one has given us four observations of health measure, and four observations of lifestyle. And notice that the health and lifestyle are given at the same time, time one, and then at time two, and then time three, and then time four. And again, for the next patient. So I said, there's a health measure there, the second variable, with four repeated measures of it for each patient. And there's a lifestyle measure. Um, if you look in Twist book, it describes what these are, but I'm sure you can think of equivalent lifestyle and health measures that you most likely would use in reality. And as I said, there's four observations for each subject. This is different to the way it's usually laid out in SPSS notice, so we'll be coming on to that. And as I say, we've got 174 patients, but each of those provide four rows. So four times 147 is equal to 588 rows we have in this data set. Let's just look at another way of structuring this particular data. So that's the long format that's called, which we've just looked at. It's where we have one observation time per row. So you can see for each time there's one row. So for each time, for each patient, there's one row. But we could have it in what you're most likely used to, and I'm most likely used to as well, the wide format where we have one case per row. So here we have the ID, which goes again to one column in both formats. But health, you'll notice, whereas we had four observations for each case, now goes to four separate variables. And similarly, the four lifestyle measures go to four separate columns as well. So, what we want is to be able to convert our data between wide format and a long format. And you do that in SPSS by using this option where you go to Data Restructure. So it's the menu option Data Restructure, and then you come to the Restructure Data Wizard. And there you have two main options. One is to convert from long format to wide, and the other is from wide to long. And Usually, we use the wide to long format option because we tend to use the long format when we're analysing repeated measures data. So here we are in SPSSS with our data in wide format. So the first column you notice has a unique identifier for each subject or patient, and then we have four observations of health and four observations of lifestyle. So to transform into long format we go to data, restructure and we choose the first option. You notice it's wide going to long. Click next and how many variables do you want to restructure? Well we've got two sets of variable groups. We've got the health and the lifestyle so we choose more than one and it's already selected two for us. Next. Right, now what do we choose for the case group identification? Well, we know we've got case group ID there, so we just say choose a variable and we put in 
FF, which we know is their subject ID. Now we want to create the transposed variables. So the first one we're going to call health. And we select F4 health variables and place them in there. So they'll all be converted to one variable called health. Now we create our next variable, which we know is going to be lifestyle. And we select F4 lifestyle measures and put them in there. So we can ignore the next box and we say continue next. How many index variables do you want? Well, we know that we only want one because we're going to have one to four for each subject. So that's all right. Say next. And what do you want to give the name of this index variable? Well, we're going to give this name time because that's what it is, really. It's a time, isn't it? One, two, three, four. And we don't need to bother with a label and say next and we ignore the next option and say next again and it says restructure your data now or do you want to save the syntax sometimes you're in a really complicated one it's actually quite good to use the syntax but we'll say we're quite happy to restructure our data now and say finish and this just is warning us it's going to restructure it and here we are and that looks exactly the same as we had when we looked at the long format so we have four ones four twos four threes, four fours, etc. Then we have a time variable here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then the health, and then lifestyle. Here we have our data in long format. We convert it to wide format this time. So let's go back to data, restructure. This time we choose the second option, going from long to wide click next and it asks which is the identifier variable we know the identifier variable is their ID and we know which the index variable is index variable means basically something that's telling us each measure is identified so for each measure is identified for our, each subject by their one two three four one two three four so that's the time variable so we choose time there and we say next it says does want to sort the data well actually we're already sorted so we don't need to so we can carry on say next and we're going to group by original variables which is fine so we're going to have it means here we're going to have health one health two health three health four and then lifestyle one two three four whereas we could have gone health one lifestyle one health two lifestyle two etc we won't we'll carry on as it is and if you want to say restructure the data now, say finish, and we will do. Again, the warning message, continue, and there we are. ID, health 1 to 4, lifestyle 1 to 4.